Well, today, the man accused of driving drunk and killing a Colts player and another man expected back in court. It's happening as we're learning. He's facing new federal charges. Our Alyssa Raymoney is live downtown with a look at what we know about the driver and his past. Alyssa? Julia, good morning. Manuel Orego Zavala faces those federal charges for re entering the country illegally after being deported. He could get up to 10 years in prison for those crimes, but then also today we're expected to find out what charges he faces here in Marion County. Most likely, one of those charges is expected to be driving while intoxicated, causing death. This is actually a booking photo of Manuel taken last year in Boone County after he allegedly used a fake name and pleaded guilty to driving without a license. We also learned he's an undocumented immigrant from Guatemala. Manuel has been deported twice. Most recently in 2009, he was arrested and prohibited from coming into the U.S. for 20 years. Then before that he was removed from the country in 2007. But let's go back to 2005 when he was convicted for driving under the influence over in California, not once, but twice. Fast forward to this past Sunday, Indianapolis Colts linebacker Edwin Jackson and his Uber driver Jeffrey Monroe both died. Both men were outside the car on I-70. We're told Jackson got sick and Monroe was helping him, and that's when Manuel allegedly hit into them. Police say Manuel walked away from the scene, and uh, they eventually caught up to him. And court documents show Manuel had a blood alcohol level of .239. That's nearly three times the legal limit. We're also told that police drew Manuel's blood there at the scene as well. We still haven't found out the results from those tests. We were told that that could take about a week to find that out. And again, we are expecting Manuel. He is scheduled to be here in court in Marion County at 830. We will be inside the courtroom. And if you're interested in following along, we will be tweeting WTHR as well as any updates will be posted on WTHR. THR.com and then of course a full report. Stay tuned at noon. Back to you in the studio. All right, Alyssa, thank you.